Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, stock family. I hope everybody's doing good out there. What's up, apes? What's up, AMC community? Y'all, what's going on out there this morning? I hope y'all are doing good, for real. This is not financial advice, even though I'm just talking about news, really. The news, the news. I don't know if y'all know, but yesterday we had that big spike in volatility, big spike, 25% increase in price. Um, apparently that was from the news of Taylor Swift's Eras Tour coming to AMC Theaters. And I think by the look of the chart today and the price movement today, um, we're having a little bit of a sell-off and maybe trading sideways. Who knows? But I think it's being underestimated. All right. If that was the big news that popped this stock, which I don't think that was the only news that, um, I think people are underestimating Taylor Swift. She's the biggest star on this planet she's the biggest artist in the world and when she announces that she's doing that uh eras tour at theaters and amc theaters and it's gonna be big it's gonna be big when is that that is in october 13th so we've got that coming down i told you guys we've got some good stuff we gotta have some good news coming down the pipeline and another good thing another um thing that's hitting the theaters is the movie dumb money Dumb money. You could go and check the th uh, check the trailer out online. Dumb money. The GameStop movie. And if you don't think that that's going to reignite some inspiration and hopes and fears and discontent and get people back in the stock market, you're wrong. I think it will. I think it will definitely spark some more interest towards these these plays. And what is overall really the whole point of the movie is David versus Goliath, right? And um, how it's unfair, unfair trading practices. So hopefully we get something going there um, with the lawsuits and everything. You know, in my last video, I, I told you guys, go check it out, that they were gonna, you know, brokers were gonna start going down. And apparently it's happening. I've got messages on it where Fidelity Pro's not working this morning. Yesterday, Fidelity wasn't working, um, so it's been glitching or whatever. Y'all, they're trying anything and everything that they can to affect the price to get some type of uh, uncertainty anywhere and everywhere that they can. And, and I get comments on my videos about, oh, that's not, you know, all the trolls, they're going to tell you the, if they're negative, and they're not, they don't have hope for the future of the stock, then they're, you're, you're a troll in my eyes because you cannot expect the stock to keep continuously going down, 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 down into bankruptcy the way that that's how, that was their, their goal before, all right? But enough of that. It does feel like, like I told you in my last video, go check out my last video. I said, they're gonna, they're gonna, it's like they're waving. You ever seen the commercial where the guy with the fishing pole with the dollar? Oh, almost got it, almost got it. That's exactly how this feels. And in my last video, I told y'all that they were gonna bring the price back down. And this is your last chance to get it at 13. This is your last chance to get it at 12. I don't care, bring it back down, baby. Um, I'll just get more shares, so. It's like, oh, this is your last chance to sell. This is your last chance to sell. Maybe that's what's going on today. I don't know, but I ain't got a thought of selling in my brain. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about was the good news that we've got coming. And also, I'll just throw this out there. You've got traders and YouTubers that are arguing and battling, going back and forth. I've talked about it. Um, and I'm going to name drop on this one because it's just ridiculous, man. Y'all are are finger pointing to the extreme and calling each other. You got your views. You, 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 you. Y'all just ballot. I said it in my last video too, that if they could get 300 freaking kids in a parking lot, AFC parking lot being juveniles and causing destruction and getting arrested, then us adults can come together and go to an AMC parking lot and protest, you know, peacefully protest about what we disagree with and what we have problems and issues with. But no, we can't do that. Well, how about this one? I got a new one. Since y'all want to make videos about each other, uh, John Wick sniping and Lou vs. Wall Street about who's right and who's got the better fans and views and da-da-da-da-da, why don't y'all just go and plan it out to where we have YouTube 
boxing match at an AMC theater. I'm pretty sure that if y'all are this popular and you keep throwing your weights around, why can't y'all do that? That'd be awesome. And on top of that, we'd, we'd all make money from it and we would all be into it and it would spark more interest into the stock. So I don't know why y'all don't plan out like a boxing match in the parking lot or something. Uh, JWS versus uh, Lou LVS, Lou versus Wall Street. <laughs> um, so LWS, yeah. So why don't why don't you do that? Why don't we do that? Why don't we have a boxing match where everybody? Can, um, we could have more on the card, too. Whoever has beef with it, YouTubers that have beef can get on the card and be on the boxing match. I guarantee you it would do good things for the stock. <laughs> It'd be the only stock that people go and box it out, box their problems and issues out. And then we could get like a broker, a couple brokers in there, a couple Wall Street guys in there, and some short sellers in there. We'll have short sellers, shorts against the longs, and we'll box it out. I'm down. <laughs> but that's the good news y'all uh something else that i wanted to pull up yeah i feel like people are underestimating the impact of the eras film for real for real let's get into some numbers real quick before i end this video fidelity numbers fidelity short interest 95.79 percent why has that number not changed i thought that the numbers were weren't right i thought the uh, it's going to take time for these numbers to get fixed. Why is it still showing 95% short interest? Don't worry. I'll wait for somebody to come into the comments and tell me the real short interest, wherever the, wherever they got that number from. Because this number isn't right on the brokerage firm, right? Oh, Lord. 150 million shares short. Days to cover. 14 prior shares. 137. Increasing prior 21 days. That number has dropped. Let's go to the Stanko Chaka. See if these numbers are right. 23,000 calls in the money expiring September 1st. 3,200. Actually, 3,200,000 shares available to borrow. If you don't believe me, go look it up. So... The numbers are looking good. The news is looking good, hopeful. We've got things coming. So just be patient. Hold your shares. That's my financial, it's not financial advice, but that's my personal opinion that you should do. Probably hold on to these shares if you're, depends on what price you're at. Um, I don't, I don't know if AMC is ever going to get back to $50. Uh, it's not looking hopeful, but you have to do what's best for you, all right? And if that's dollar cost average, bringing your price target down, you know, you got to figure it out if you want to really be in the stock for, you know, the extended amount of time. But AMC, look at them coming out with news. AMC Entertainment has been struggling all summer, making the real progress. Its significant declines have led to highly profitable season for the short sellers who bet against it. That's all they do is bet against us, y'all. But we got nothing but time, baby. I'm not going to make this video too long, but think about what I said. Thank you for the views. Thank you for the subscribes. Thanks for being here. Thank you for the comments. Thanks for being you. I hope y'all have a good day.